right, we're talking to uh, Kenny Highland from Africa Core, the Core. Is it the Gizmos or the Gizmos? I wanted to ask you that. Oh, it's the Gizmos. Okay, so now you founded the Gizmos, or what? How, how did you get from the D.C. area to Indiana? Bitch, get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> uh, you actually got it. So You've actually got it backwards because I was living in Indiana and then I end, and I ended up in DC. Okay. And um, so what's the story there? All right, I lived in Indiana for a year. Then I joined the Marines. Uh, number one, because my father was in. The other reason being Bob Mosley from the Moby Grape. He, joined, he quit Moby Grape after the first album. Joined the Marines for nine months. Now, this CD came out with this CD right here. Came, uh, I mean, this album was recorded after you joined the Marines, right? So I was, was in like, the Marines then. Yeah. So that was sort of like you did this band, the Africa Corps, right? Uh, you were that's involved. That's live at Cantones, uh, August of 1977. Okay, and so. You were in the Africa Corps after the, the initial spurt with the, the Gizmos? Is that how that sort of went? It or? went Gizmos in 76, Africa Corps 77. Okay. And uh, what was sort of the impetus for the uh, involvement in Rock and Roll in the first place? I always like to ask people that. The very first place? All right. My father died in Vietnam, February 21st of 67. Then um, Sergeant Pepper came out June 1st of 67. So I started listening to like, you know, all the psychedelic music and that was just to get my mind off of Vietnam and everything. So I tuned in, turned on, dropped out, you know, listened to all that old hippie music and stuff back then. Then, you know, I got into glam rock and uh, started discovering, uh, I got Who Put the Bop magazine by Greg Shaw, he's dead now. But I started going back with like a lot of root stuff. Um, discovering 60s garage and 50s rockabilly. Did a lot of mail order with records and all that. So I was just a record collector that kind of played guitar. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, people started liking it and they started doing the records. So, you know, but I'm still happy when I'm inside, you know, just there playing by myself. You know? How the Culture Association come, come about? Because they've been a label for a long time too, so you knew them back in the 70s, I take it, right? That was all fanzine related. Okay. Because uh, Bob Richard that runs Culture wrote to me, because uh, I had a fanzine with this other kid, he's dead now too, Alan Boz. Uh, we're doing a fanzine and he wrote this about 73, so then uh, those of us that were in the Gizmos, we we're going to move out to Indiana and form a magazine like Free Magazine. And then the Dictators came out, and it's like, wow, fanzine geeks, they're like doing rock and roll, and they're making their own record too. So, Teenage Wasteland Gazette, Dictators, Gulture Magazine, Gulture Records. Yes, we stole the idea. Hell yeah. Top and Top Ten is going out with a very good friend of mine too. She might be seeing this, Miss Donna Lee. So. Can you explain that a little more? Just because I don't even know what the hell that is all about. So, what's like that? Everybody else, top ten. He's one of the dictators, right? Oh, top or? ten plays rhythm guitar for the oh, dictators. Okay, right, 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 right. He's out in LA, um, shacking up with a good friend of mine and her dog. So, I'll now, hear from her from time to time. Now, you're, you've been in bands lately. Am I hearing that right? Because I, I sort of went back and read the liner notes on some of the the, the Gulture CDs, and it said you've been in some bands lately. Vatican. Um, I was in the Vatican Sex Kittens until the band quit on me because I was playing gospel music. So usually you quit playing the devil's music, and then like Little Richard did it. So that's like without Little Richard, I wouldn't have written Jail Bay Janet. So yeah, I was playing Pentecostal music down on Blue Hill Avenue in Boston. And man, that was like the best stuff in the whole wide world, you know, for me. I loved it, you know. That's like the real roots of it all. Now, do you play out much these days? Um, actually, no, man. I, you know what I do for entertainment? Yeah. If Jan Janis Joplin and Jimmy Hendrix are sober, what would they be doing? Reading books. So, yeah, I, you know, the only time I ever play is when I come down here, I stay with Otley. A uh, very good band. It's got Martha Hull that was in the Slicky Boys, Marshall Keith that was is in the Slicky Boys, and Bob Burberick that was in the Hangmen, Grin, and also the Roslyn Mountain Boys. Now, just this afternoon, we was upstairs in the music room. You know, Bob's singing like old Hank Williams songs. He's playing acoustic guitar and uh, singing, and then I'm just doing like country leads on this hundred twenty-five dollar guitar. So, you know. I like a lot of the southern roots music, you know. 
That's why I don't wear shoes on stage because we're on a band's ass. And you, you, you actively you actively do play guitar still these days, right? I pick it up every once in a while, okay. you know. But um, yeah, it's like once you played like so as much as I have, you know, after a while you get like you know time to move on. You know, I haven't written any new songs. So, so what's next? What's next? Well, I'll be back down here uh, Columbus Day. I got a lot of vacation time, so I'll. In fact, you know what I'm going to be end up doing on my next vacation down here? I'm going to go see the Roslyn Mountain Goats uh, on the Tuesday after. Uh, it'll be the Tuesday after Columbus Day. So, you know, that'll be some good, you know, country music, which I will surely enjoy. Um, that's pretty much about it. Now, people can find you on MySpace, right? Yes, they can find me on MySpace. Okay, cool. That's very good. And as a matter of fact, I am living Jim Morrison's dream. Because all he wanted to do was disappear and just be. So, you know, it's Jim's like, remember the movie? Yeah, man, I just want to get, like, really fat and just, like, be, you know? So, I'm doing it. I'm Morrison's son. It's a wrap.